Pastor Craig coming to you again with this week's Sunday School lesson. This week we'll be on lesson number seven, A Family Grows, Jacob's Family. And that will be in Genesis chapter 29, verses 1 through 30. So let us begin in God's word. <clears throat> this is Genesis 29, 1 through 30. Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. As he looked, he saw a well in the field, and behold, there are flocks of sheep lying beside it. For out of, that, out of that well flocks were watered. The stone on the well's mouth was large, and when all the flocks were gathered there, the shepherds would roll the stone from the mouth of the well and, the, and water the sheep, and put the stone back in its place over the mouth of the well. Jacob said to them, My brothers, where do you come from? They said, We are from Haran. And he said to them, Do you know Laban, the son of Nahor? They said, We know him. He said to them, it is well with it, 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 it is it well with him and they said it is well and see rebecca or sorry, see rachel his daughter is coming with this sheep he said behold it is still high day it is not time for the livestock to be gathered together water the sheep and go pasture them and they said we cannot until all the flocks are gathered together and the stone is rolled from the mouth of the well then we water the sheep while he was still speaking of them Rachel came from uh, with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherdess. Now as soon as Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, his mother's brother, uh, Jacob came near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and wept aloud. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's kinsman, and that he had and that he was Rachel's and that he was Rachel sorry that he was Rebecca's son and she ran and told her father as soon as Laban heard the news about Jacob his sister's son he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to the to his house Jacob told Laban all these things and Laban said to him surely you are my bone of my flesh and he and he stayed with him a month went then Laban said to Jacob because you are my kinsman, you sh should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what shall your wage be? Now Laban had two daughters. The name of one was Leah, and the other, uh, and the name of the other of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was beautiful in form and appearance. Jacob loved Rachel, and he said, "I will serve you seven years for your younger daughter Rachel." Laban said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to my, any other man. Stay with us. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel. And they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. Then Rachel said to Laban, Give me my wife that I may put into her for may, that give me my wife that I may go into her, for my time is completed. So Laban gathered together all the people of, of the place and made a feast. But in the evening he took his daughter Leah and brought her to Jacob, and he went in to her. Laban gave his female servant Zilpha to his daughter Leah to be her servant. And in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And Jacob said to Laban, What is this that you have done to me? Did I not serve, you with, uh, serve with you for Rachel? Why have you deceived me? Laban said, it is, not, it is not so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this, uh, the week of this one, and we will give you the other. Also, in return for serving me another seven years, Jacob did so and completed her week. Then Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Laban gave his female servant Bilhah to his daughter Rachel to be her servant. So Jacob went to into Rachel also, and he loved Rachel more than Leah, and served uh, Laban for another seven years. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So as we look at this lesson, we can see that uh, once again we're in the uh, in Genesis. We're seeing how God is is uh, keeping His promise to uh, you know multiply the, the the family of Abraham through the generations. Now we're here at Jacob's family, and we see once again uh, sinful men doing what we always do and and deceive and 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 lie. And so we look to the law and gospel aspect of this, and, and it is that we choose to go our own way without trusting God. 
Um, we don't we don't trust that God will do the things for us. And we saw how Laban um, you know, tricks Jacob into marrying his older sister first, um, and then and then gives him his second uh, daughter. Uh, sorry, his, his, his older daughter first, and then gives him the second daughter, Rachel. Um, but in spite of all of our many sins, God blesses us with a family, and that uh, and that all that we need, and He forgives us through His Son Jesus. And that's the gospel of this lesson. Even though the sins that were 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 carried out, even though the sins of of you know having more than one wife, um, having uh, and we'll see as it it gets even more than you know the concubines and these types of things that will happen. Um, God still blesses Jacob with the family. He still blesses us today with our family. And that's the Bible truth, that God works through families. And for a kata, or for a, a verse for this week, uh, look to 1 Corinthians 16, 14. It says, let all that you do be done in love. Uh, we should always do those things in love uh, for one another. Uh, being honest and, and forthright and helping one another, helping our families. And that's kind of our catechism lesson that we'll have today. And if you look in the back of your catechisms, in the end, you'll see that the table of duties. And the table of duties is broken into, you know, what we owe uh, the different people in our lives and the different stations that we ha we find ourselves in. Um, those three are, are the church, the government, and the family. And so, you know, what do we owe to the church? What do we owe to our government? And, and what do we owe to our family? And you'll notice that the longest of those is what we owe to our family, what do we owe to our husbands, owe to wives and wives to husbands, parents to children and children to husbands, and neighbors to neighbor. Um, you can read through those with, um, they, most of them come from Ephesians. And you can read through those with your kids to, to emphasize the importance of, of family in our lives. Now, when we look to the kind of a snapshot of all of this, you know, kind of a rundown, uh, Jacob experiences love at first sight when he meets Rachel at the well, and then he's welcomed into his uncle Laban's household and agrees to work seven years in order to marry Rachel. Uh, then when the wedding celebration finally arrives, Laban tricks Jacob into marrying Rachel's older sister, Leah. And, and realizing the deception, Jacob confronts his uncle, who gives him Rachel's hand for another seven years of service. Um, now, uh, you know, what does this mean for our identity, our calling? You know, God has called, has made us to be part of a family, and we have our own unique roles as part of that family, and so we can serve our family and God as we work together to care for and to support one another, um, knowing that God works through families. And for and so for the early childhood, the younger kids, they need to know when they leave this lesson that God blesses them through their families and understand that God works through all families uh, for, for good. For the older kids, you know, they need to know that, but they can also describe how God teaches them uh, through, uh, teaches them through life lessons uh, through the family, and they can consider how God can work through families, even when those family relationships are broken by sin. Uh, well, we know many families aren't whole, um, that, that, that sin has caused uh, the breakup of families, and, and many of our kids suffer from that. And so, Try to give comfort and assurance that God still works through the families, even though we are fallen and sinful individuals. God loves us and continues to work through those families. So hopefully this uh, little rundown will help you to uh, to concentrate, to meditate as you read and, and study the scriptures and prepare for Sunday. And so thank you for all that you do, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.